bit. Um, so, so my name's Simon. I am your MP, your Member of Parliament. Um, and my job is basically to represent you in Westminster. Do you think it has been done for us to pass more safely? Good question, Joseph. Thank you. Um, so the honest answer is no, I don't think there is. And I'm working with Cumbria County Council at the moment to try and get your school in particular, where I know there's there's a couple of issues on one of those Safer Streets programmes. Um, do you think lockdown has made people drive faster and have less responsibility over their actions on the road? Oh, that's a that's a good question, Archie. Um, this is something which we're we're working on constantly and actually there's a campaign running at the moment on my website um, where I'm asking people to write in to me if they've got issues with speeding um, because with all these campaigns with everything we do the more voices we can get behind it the more people we can say look this is a problem for me as well in this sp specific area um, the more likely we'll be able to get that to the council who've got ultimate control over this um, and get something changed. Where do you begin when you start a campaign? You've, you've got to understand two things to begin with. The first is what you want. And the second, you've got to be really clear about that. And the second is you've got to know who makes a decision. Um, so if you want to change something, who's in charge of, of making that change? Um, once you know that, you can start building everything else out. Do you have any ideas for how we could uh, make our campaign as successful as possible? Demonstrating broad support. So trying to show that you've got as many people as possible backing what, you're, what you want to do and what you want to campaign for. Um, and again, trying to make it as easy as possible for the person who ultimately makes the decision on this to back what you want. When do you get nervous and how do you deal with it? So I get nervous all the time. Um, I was always the person at school who sat at the back of class. I would never put my hand up. Um, if there was uh, an opportunity to speak, I would never take it. I'll tell you what, you stand up and you have to do it. And as soon as you realise, once you stand up and you have to do it, you realise it's actually not a problem at all. How do you ensure that your out. The best way to make your campaign stand out is to pick something or to or to sell your campaign in a way that that makes people think it's really silly this isn't happening already. You, know, you, you want to position what you're fighting for as something which should already be there. Can we have things that don't spill rubbish when it is windy? Oh really good question. Um, <laughs> So the answer is yes, but you know what you need to change that? You need a campaign. Um, so, you know, there's, a, there's an idea for you. So much of, um, you know, the littering problem we have here is because there aren't lids on bins or they're not sufficiently heavy lids. You're getting these basics right would make such a big difference. What is the best way to let people know about your campaign? Really, uh, what you want to be doing is trying to find advocates, so people who will speak about the campaign for you. Um, so if you think about it this way, if you, um, if you walk up to someone in the street who's never met you before and try and convince them to do something for you, the chance of them doing it is probably pretty small. But if it's one of their friends doing it, someone they know and trust and like, then they're probably going to listen to them and they, they might actually take action. They might join the campaign. And that's what you want to do. You want to build up support like that. So get your friends involved and get your friends to get their friends involved and their, their family involved and then their family's friends involved. And, you need to, and that's how you grow an organic campaign.